guys welcome back to fake it to make it today i have a little haul for you just some random things i've picked up here and there during this week um, that i want to share with you so first thing so first thing is first i did pick up a power sheet um goal planner I picked it up in the teal color. It's so pretty. I will have a separate flip through video because there's a lot, but I did grab this and it came in this beautiful box. So cute. I used Elisa's code. So if you're interested, check that out. Other random items. I got these Zig clean color dot markers. Um, I got these on Amazon. I will try and have a link down below in the description for you. On one end, it is a fine point, and on the other, it is a dot. Let me see if I can show you real quick. And this thumbnail is, this paint is, a well, it's not paint. It's a color street because it came off, and I'm trying to um, not get another manicure for one nail. So you get these, which are perfect for checklists, and depending on how hard you push, it's how big of a dot you get. And then you also have a fine point. Oh, this color is really pretty. And this was, I think about $26 on Amazon. Let's see if I can put this back in here. And it comes with two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve different colors. So I grabbed this. She says I went to a store called Paper Source and picked up a few things. I got these Tombow brush pens. So I'm gonna try and use these. Um, one is a soft and one is a hard tip. It came in a pack for about six dollars. So I grabbed those. I also got this really pretty Christmas washi. You can see that there's some Christmas trees. This is like a green plaid, some stars, the cars, the winter wonderland, the gold um, mustardy color with the stars, the snowmen, and then the pink and red plaid. Super cute. So I picked that up at Paper Source. And then I also got this really pretty um, paper. They, they do roll it up for you, um, and I thought this would be perfect in a spread. You could use it as wrapping um, or for crafts, and I just really, I don't know, I thought it was kind of traditional and very pretty, so I also picked that up. They have so many different kinds of paper there. If you have a paper source near you, I would definitely recommend checking it out. I did get in my peel and stick wall art. I got the Kristen line art blooms if you can see that and it came with the it's good to be home delight in the simple things and the be kind and the gather so i did pick this up and it's a nice it's hard to see it comes in this box decent sized box oh you can kind of see better the images that it comes with there so i was excited that that came in Next, uh, my Live, La Live Love Posh order came in. This is the first time I have ordered from her. I will do, well, let me show you what I got, and then I'll do a super quick flip through. So I did get these um, frosted dividers. These are for my Skinny Classic. Y'all know I love them. So these are some um, dividers and then some dashboards. So like these are a little more pliable. And then it also comes with um, some stickers, which is really cool because I didn't know it came with that. So that's really nice. And then these are more of, um, these are like a little, can you tell like a little sturdier? And there's two. So you could use this as a cover with some vellum behind it. Um, you could use it as a divider, whatever you want, but I thought those were really pretty. And then I also got, same thing um, for my classic. And you can, again, you can kind of see, like as I'm trying to bend it, it's much sturdier. You could use this as a cover, put some vellum behind it. Very pretty. So I picked up those. And then I did pick up her Winter Wonderland sticker book. I was so sad because I missed out on her fall. So she has, these are a matte paper sticker. And it's a holiday bucket list, some 
um, oops, sorry, some months and then some holidays there. It looks like Valentine's Day. Look at those lips. Okay, I'm going to try and go real quick because I don't want this video to be too long. Oh, that's really, I love that traditional color. Oh, that's really pretty too. She has some really cute and unique stickers. Like different colors. That's fun. And always the florals. I feel like you can always count on the florals. The, this is really pretty. Oh my gosh, look at this little planner cart. Adorable. This is really cute. And I know there are, whose code did I use for this? I think I used Tina. Um, so check for, because some of, um, I know there's like some old squad members and I don't think she has a PR team necessarily, but there are people with um, a coupon code. So definitely if you want to purchase from her, it's worth it. Use someone's code. So I got that. I'm excited about that. And then I got my fall Happy Planner flash sale. So from the flash sale, I got this. Um, I got another pen case. I love these. I have this one. I have another one of these, but this was on sale. It's so cute. So I grabbed that. You guys know, if you follow me, I love my plastic envelopes to put in my Skinny Classic. I use them. Oh, receipt. This one even says receipts in here. Pay the bills. Pinch those pennies. Love it. So I use these as cash envelopes in my Skinny Classic. I have plenty of budgeting videos, cash envelope stuffing, sinking funds. So definitely check those out. That's what I use these for. I also grabbed two sets of discs. These classic, just gold metal. And then these, I don't think these were on sale they may have been I don't remember but because I was placing an order I just wanted to grab some they're just the metal rings I did get this uh, little oldie this happy life I thought this would be good for journaling it's very bright colors so I grabbed that I grabbed two of these um, planner storage covers. So these are, you know, if you have a memory planner or planner you want to keep, it has a label on the side. Once you're done with it, this kind of protects it. But I saw Elizabeth on EJ Joyful. She uses this to store like filler paper, I believe. And I, I have something for filler paper, but I think it will be perfect. I want to kind of go through some of my older planners, combine them, pull the dashboards out, the covers that I like, and get rid of the guts if I'm not going to use it just to make some room. And I thought this would be a perfect way to store dashboards and covers. So that's why I grabbed these. Next, I grabbed the household extension pack. Um, I, this is something I've actually been wanting for a while and I would pick it up and then I would put it back. Um, I really want the chores and the project portion. I have a separate budget planner and I have a meal planner, but I like the idea of keeping, um, keeping track of chores that, um, I don't know, maybe you don't do every week or aren't common I guess like changing the furnace filter or things maybe we do to the pool stuff like that so that's why I picked this up I also grabbed this beautiful um I think this is a linen it's kind of like a grayish it could go beige or a little gray. Um, it is a little, you can tell, like it doesn't really bend. It's a little more sturdy and then has like this almost chevron pattern on the side. I have a black one like this that I love, but I they don't have it on the website anymore. I was so sad. But this one I thought was like very beautiful and professional. So I picked this up as well. I got this. They're, they package their planner so nicely. For transport to try to keep them safe like all this 
stuff. I grabbed this monthly layout, the Stay Wildly Grateful. Number one, like these pink discs are really pretty. And I'm not even like a huge butterfly fan, but something about the colors on this I really like. But what I really want is the monthly layout. I think I'm going to use this. Let's pop this off. I think I'm going to use this for social media for 2022. Um, I love, <clears throat> excuse me, I love this section, this kind of like monthly overview, and then just the idea of having checklists because I'll be honest, I've been using the big dashboard and I know for some people it really works. It does not work for me for social media. I find I end up decorating it and I'm not utilizing it. And so I think I just need something a little more functional. So I like this. Like, yeah, I can throw a couple stickers on here if I want. But then for the most part, it's just super functional for me. And I think that's what I need. So I'm excited about this. I think it's really, really beautiful. And it has like a little bit of that like coppery foiling on it. Just gorgeous. So I'm excited for this. And then I got my budget planner for next year. You know, if you follow me, I, hold on. Okay, wanted to get that up. If you follow me, you know I use a happy planner budget planner. So this is the one I'm going to use for 2022. I'm really excited about this. Um, Using a budget planner has helped me immensely. I have paid things off. I have more money. And this one, I love, look at how neutral it is. I love that they don't pre-type in categories, which I love because everybody has different expenses. Like this, so nice. And a lot of times, even these weekly expenses, I turn into sinking fund trackers. If you want to see how I do that, go watch my budgeting. Go watch a sinking fund video. And then there's no paper. Oh my gosh. An unexpected spend. I am really excited. I think this is the best budget planner they've come out with. I previously, this will be my third or my fourth budget planner. One year I bought one, I didn't care for it, and I used something different. This is by far the best one so far, I think. Um, I love it. If you want to know too, I will be doing a video um, on my 2022 planners and how I'm kind of choosing what planners to use, but this is for sure in that planner lineup. And then the last thing in my happy planner order is this recipe planner. It is so pretty. I do have the meal planner from this collection, which is also gorgeous. Oh, hold on. Let's slice this open here so you guys can get a little peek go and this was not part of the sale but I did since I was already placing an order for shipping purposes that's why I waited to pick up a few of these new planners not that they were on sale so much as it for shipping right I, I was waiting to get them until I placed my next order look at how gorgeous this is are you freaking kidding me I can't. Like, I want to frame this. And then it has kitchen conversions. Oh, my gosh, this planner. You can buy um, the extension pack. I do have some separate recipe sheets, which is really nice. So it has, like, different categories, favorites, main dishes, side dishes, so on. I just want to look at these. Oh, my gosh, this is really, really pretty, you guys. Especially that burst with the foiling. Gorgeous. I want to like it's a different picture on the other side. Bake meals and memories. And then miscellaneous. Wow, super cute. So I'm excited to have this, and this will be something in my 2020 lineup. And I mean beyond. This is a recipe organizer. You can use this for years and years to come. It's not dated. It's simply just dividers and recipe sheets, which is awesome. So I'm very thankful that I was able to grab that. So 
that is everything that I picked up this week. Thank you for watching my little planner haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you saw anything here that you're interested in or maybe if you've done a little shopping for yourself lately let me know what items you couldn't pass up this week that you had to get for yourself i'd love to hear it um give this video a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time bye guys